Alright guys, so today it's going to be just a casual talk and I am going to update with uh, all the stuff that I've been buying and basically what I kept and what I have returned and why I have returned it and why did I keep all these products that I have. So if you want to see, keep using, then stay tuned. First, I wanted to just kind of randomly pick whatever I have here and um, some of the product that I don't have with me obviously I don't have it so I won't be able to show you as usual I'll try to pop the picture right here and that way you can kind of see which one obviously and this blouse and this top right here just like right here the beads are so heavy and just you know it's just coming off of my shoulder and I, I don't like that it's just not a cute look uh anyway so it's not about the tops <laughs> it's about makeup all right so the first thing i have here is a couple of foundations and the foundation i have here is this two one is from tom ford is a traceless and perfection foundation and my shade is 7.7 .7, which is honey and this one the second one i have here is bobby brown the intensive skin serum foundation has spf 40 and this one has SPF 15. Now, both of these products are two different kind. This one is more like a serum -y, liquidy type of foundation. So, change. I had to change my top. That uh, top wasn't having it. So, anyway. So, what I was saying about this uh, foundation right here is two different kind. This one is totally different, like serum kind, as it, it says. And this one is very, very liquidy. And it stays on and it's so nice and i love it i love the smell and it's li literally bougie product i mean don't get me wrong both of them are bougie but i got this one sales i got it for 44 dollars something like that when they were on sale usually they're like 80 some dollars right so this one right here is also really nice if you are looking for long lasting and for you know throughout the whole day it won't smear or smudge or whatever you know like cakey these none of these foundations are that way both of them are my like literally becoming holy grail and these two i can definitely like uh whenever i am looking for more like a liquidy serum-y and healthy glow kind of a look for i mean the foundation then i can go for this one and when i'm looking for long lasting for the whole day and won't smudge and it will last me for the whole day then that's when i just grab this one okay so now about this uh, blurring tusha claw primer right here is really nice and i'm not sure like how i could describe this one this one is nice but i don't know if i would spend on this one um i'll try to put the price tag right here somewhere as of right now for blurring purposes i have other primers which is my toucher right here and i do like this one so i don't know if i am gonna recommend this one like right now if you are looking to buy a primer that you know if you if you're looking to buy, buy a primer and you don't have it and you're into this primer that you want to know if this is good yes definitely it is good but if i'm gonna hurry and run out there to buy this one i don't think so so i will pass on this one and if you have something already use that up and then you can um, get this one when it's on sale so that's how i feel about this one. so the blush i have here the patrick ta for face and this one is a she's so la and this is the uh, powder and cream blush definitely do recommend this one this is one of my favorite product and it's quickly became my favorite if you're in market to pick up a color depending on your skin tone which one you think you will suit you better something different i don't have anything like this i believe like these two shade um you know together so i thought this is the best one to pick up because i always can buy pink or corally shades um you know anytime with all the brands come up with but this kind of shade i just didn't have it together so i was very happy and really love this product now this one right here the chanel uh lavage bronzer i do like it but will i recommend for my kind of skin tone and darker skin tone i don't think so because this color right here is literally like blends into my skin it's i kind of i mean i could kind of use this as a foundation 
instead of like bronzer I am looking for more bronzy and contour kind of a tone so I don't know why why Chanel does not come up with the more colors on these type of product I know that Fenty Beauty and then Huda Beauties and then other brands are already came up with this kind of uh, bronzy cream contour bronzer but Chanel this one especially the Lavage or Soleil's uh, Tender Chanel they used to call it people were just in love with it and this is the reason other brand came up with their own this kind of product why not Chanel you know come up with their own different shades you know just come up with the darker shades that way we people can get your product and be pleased and keep repurchasing it. I guess they just don't like to include us for some reason that they they just don't care and they just want to keep one shade for every tone uh, which is kind of impossible. We are not just one shade. We we are different colors. You know, we do have a different tones. So, I don't want to keep on ranting about this product. I'm not going to repurchase it unless they come up with the different like darker shades. This is just a fail because of the shade. Now, um this right here, this one is a YSL Touche Claw 3D All Over Glow. This shade is actually really beautiful and really nice on uh, my skin tone and I believe darker complex also can use this one it's really really like uh, very very finely melt shimmer I can use it all over my um, face or I can just uh, use it on top of my cheekbone and it gives me really nice glow to my skin and I just absolutely adore and love it so quickly it became my favorite so. for the Gucci bronzer and this one we love it so glad that they have different color range not just only one color uh, but this one is number three and I could definitely go for number four if I want it did a little bit darker but three does it you know I can uh, use it as a bronzer or I can do like a contour so definitely recommend this one if you are looking into buy bronzer definitely check this out and uh, maybe wait for Sephora's uh, VIV sale and get it a little chunk off which is it depending on your if you're a rouge member or you're just a member whatever it is 10 percent 15 or 20 it, it helps so you know try to take advantage of it and uh, if you are looking to buy it then definitely recommend this one for you and this is the really bougie and really nice cute packaging love this uh, color right here and this outer shape Gucci did a really good job with their shade range and packaging and the color like you know the uh, product inside not only packaging is great that they're taking the money and not providing good stuff but it is really really nice love the packaging and everything and I absolutely think this is a worth of money now for the blush right here this one is from uh, rare beauty and I have the bleach right here this is the color I bought adore this uh, product right here it's so cute and lovely packaging love the you know price range that uh, Selena kept. I'm so pleased with her price point that she kept, especially you know as Sephora you buy Chanel, you can buy uh, Gucci and you can buy uh, YSL and all these bougie product that have and she has a celebrity she could definitely could come up with a high brand product you know what I'm saying but she kept her price just perfect. The product inside is just Mwah. it's just really really nice now uh, the foundation I don't have it here with me because it's in the you know other room and I am kind of lazy right now so I'm gonna leave it right here this is the foundation and that foundation I absolutely love it. and I was really proud of myself because I saw the models picture and I thought maybe that would be my shade although I am olive to peachy undertone but I didn't know I was neutral warm undertone so I was always warm so I picked up the 290N and that's N as neutral, right? So that is so perfectly perfect with my um, skin tone, especially for the summer. I just was so impressed by me picking that shade without anybody's help. I guess I did a good job picking that color and I absolutely love the product and for that price definitely recommend that product. Now um, I did buy a bronzy palette from Natasha Denona right here and that product I returned it because I just have several other like Natasha Denona's palette and as you can see that one right there is uh, 
what you call it the the purple one lila palette behind that is a star palette also have these palettes right here this one and then safari plus i have the um, gold palette and then this one is a sunset palette i was like okay you know i do have these palettes i can literally just go through my palette and i was able to pop uh, several shades out of this palette and create my own kind of palette so because of that reason i was like you know what i don't need that extra palette although it's a 65 dollar and smaller than these uh guys right here but i didn't need it so i returned it I do have these two little ones and i do definitely love these this palette is so hard to get a hold of it just keep on comes on to sephora's website and like sell out quickly let me show you the safari palette most of these shades i got it off of those palettes that i just showed you i popped it out and i placed it here this one right here came from gold palette so i created this like the way i feel like i would use it and i don't know which color is what so i'm i but i know that these are all natasha's uh, shades and then this one right here i also did the same thing i popped the shades and just put it on the one side because these color right here was scattered everywhere right so i was able to just put it in one side and keep the bronzy in one side and as soon as i did that that's when i realized i don't need the bronzing bronzer palettes so. a few months ago i uh, bought these two palettes from makeup geek and these are the like a colorful palette and this one is all about like neutral to warm undertone um, and if you have these two palettes i think you're good to go because these are all like a matte shadow some is shimmery and um obviously this one is more colorful and shimmery is on the top she did a phenomenal job of creating these palettes and i was like dying to get my hands on it and finally when they were available i just bought it bam bam you know i was like i'm not giving another thought to not thinking about if i should buy these definitely uh, recommend these two palettes if you are in market to buy you know eyeshadow then definitely recommend these two okay so out of my new collections or new stuff that i bought i still have this palette i yeah i know i don't i still haven't used this one on camera but i have used it already off camera and this one right here is a huge palette and this was on sale i definitely am looking forward to use this one in your future definitely do love this product okay so the last product i have here they're all from what is it called tal 28 and these this one right here is the bronzer one and this one's called west coast and i have the uh, magic hour this one right here and also have a golden hour and absolutely love all of these stuff right here really recommend and pick it up when you can get it on sale now the dud right here is this one it's actually not a dud but um, I had a high hope when I bought this Fenty uh, brush for contouring reason but after I received it I saw this thing is just like not a it's really flimsy you know what I'm saying like if I want to do a contour cream contour it's just gonna move everywhere I wanted to have a stiff one that's more like a you know bristles are heavy or thick and so it, it won't move like see how thick this one is this one's from Luxie but this one right here is so like like flimsy meaning just um, it's not thick it is thick but it's just you know what I'm saying right this is just I don't know the word I can't you, you, you got it you got it if you, if you know what I'm saying so yeah that's that's the reason I am just not liking it and every time every time I sit down to do makeup I do have the brushes right here by me and I pull out every other brushes but this one so I was like you know it was just a waste of money I don't know why I picked it up when she first launched the, this brush when she came up with her old brand and she dropped a 40 shade of foundations and this one was with it and I was so tempted and I even cut my own brush to make it look like this obviously I destroyed it but this one right here is just I was really eyeing on it finally I got a hold of it now I don't I don't even use it so if you guys know how you use this uh, brush please do let me know down on the comment below so that way I can probably can use it so yeah with that being said I'm all done today and I will catch you on my next video till then you guys 
stay safe and healthy and if you haven't subscribed yet please take and a moment to subscribe to my channel and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video okay alrighty then take care bye now